Hello, welcome back to another episode of Enjoy Spoonful. You know what I have noticed? And I haven't really properly introduced myself, so my name is Evald and welcome to this channel. This week we'll be talking about a very specific ingredient that part makes part of this recipe, which is the little guy called potatoes. So I know you like your fried stuff, so let's get into it. Roll the intro. So I might seem a bit excited about frying stuff, but well, who doesn't? So today, as I said, the episode is going to be hero is going to be the potatoes, and we're going to be making croquettes. So to make them, you're going to need a few ingredients, of course. So first of all, mash of potatoes. The best is use a uh, leftover one. If you can leave it overnight, it's going to be even better. Besides that, you guys also need some meat if you want to put inside. So like you can use crevettes, uh, shrimps. Uh, some ham, or in my case I'm gonna use chorizo because I like chorizo there. Some cheese, eggs for putting inside of it and also coating them. Some flour, breadcrumbs, and some other spice if you want to add it inside there. And I'm gonna need also for close frying oil. So let's wait a bit for the recipe, let's talk about this little guy over here. So potato was originally grown in South America, of course, in Peru, and Incas were the first ones who were cultivating it. So they started cultivating it between 8,000 to 5,000 BC. And of course, we all know that Spaniards conquered the wars, con conquered, well, they did conquer or like occupy South America, and they brought a lot of things back. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about tomato, and we know it came from there as well. <coughs> Potatoes were not exceptions to that. So when they were brought to Europe, apparently they were brought by two nations. So of course Spaniards, but also possibly by the British Isles. So Spaniards brought it to Europe in around 1570s and British Isles in around 1590s. And it took around 40 years potatoes to get spread all over Europe. It was, n again, as with tomatoes, it's a new product. No one really knows how to use it or how to cook it or to eat it or what specifically to eat it in it because people are mostly consuming the top parts of it, which is poisonous, because it's a part of the nightshade family again. But some people did saw that there was something growing underground, or those spots specifically. Some were calling them devil's apples. But funny thing, in France, they are called now pommes de terre, which means soil apples. Well, I mean, a lot of people like apples, like Romero with tomatoes, Italian pomodoro, which again, golden apple. Something with apples in Europe is something particular. So, by the way, speaking of French as well, a certain Antoine Augustin Parmentier was a th forward thinker for potatoes in France. He helped organize for Louis XVI a dinner made entirely out of whole potatoes. Influenced a lot of recipes from him and a lot of recipes in France that include potatoes are called after him. Okay, so let's start cooking a bit and let's move to the kitchen. So, let's start making the mix then. So as I said, we're gonna need a potato mash. This is a leftover, I cooked it last night for dinner and I had some leftovers, so that's perfect to use that. Let's move this inside and cut some chorizo. As I said, the croquettes have a lot of different variations. Here in the Netherlands, I have tried quite a few of them. The ones that I like the most are the lamb ones, um, the ones with uh, shrimps, but I thought for this recipe I'll make it more interesting, a bit more spicy, and I'm gonna go for chorizo. Then we're gonna need also some cheese there. So I already grated some really nice melting cheese. To go for every cheese that melts well in your region, your country. Besides that, we need to add a couple of egg yolks. So let's separate those. Separate egg whites. Drop them in the mix. Let's bring the mix back here. Grind some freshly ground pepper. I like my stuff a bit peppery, so I like to go a bit extra with that. So salt, of course. 
And then depends, some people like to put some extra spices there, some put cumin, some put stuff as I said, paprika previously, or even nutmeg, but in my case I like to go simple. Okay, let's start mixing everything. Mix till you get a homogeneous paste, more or less, or a dough if you prefer. Here we go. Now, I would advise you to wet your hands before you start mixing it, uh, before you start shaping it. So, when it comes to shaping, don't make them too big, because it's going to be harder to handle them, especially when you're frying them. So just roughly, um, I would say, like a little gherkin size. This is the last one of them. Let's create a station to start covering them in breadcrumbs. Just let's stay organized here. So first flour with eggs and then breadcrumbs. So there's a way to keep your hands kind of clean. So one hand goes for dry stuff, one hand goes for the wet stuff. So let's roll first the first croquette in flour, make sure that everything is covered. Also, I would advise you to use a fork when it goes to put them in the egg, so you can cover it without covering your hands. And lift it up. Dry so excess, put it in the breadcrumbs, start covering them. Here's another bread, you can use another fork for breadcrumbs, just to make it again easier on your clean hands. So that's the first one. Let's keep making the rest of them. Um, I don't think you need to watch all of it in real time, so let me just speed it up a bit. the last one. So after coating them in flour, eggs and breadcrumbs, we need to move to the frying oil. By the way, when you work with the frying oil, please, please be careful. You can really burn yourself pretty badly if you don't handle it with care. So make sure that there's no kids running around or no flatmates jumping around playing VR because they never know what's gonna hit them. Speaking from experience. Yes, now are we done? Let's move to the stove. So after frying them, they should look more or less like this. Golden all around and crispy. What usually they do here in the Netherlands, they like it to put it with mayo. But again, make it, your, make, make it your own. You can add some chili in your mayo, some harissa if you want. Maybe go for mustard as well. Again, make it your own. Oh. Nice and crispy. Cheesy and gooey on the inside. And a little bit of a nice spice from paprika. Uh, well, paprika, which is in chorizo, so nice from spice from chorizo. Mm. Oh, oh, this is gooey. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, potato today is one of the most consumed carbs in the world. After, to get, uh, not sure which is numbers it anymore, but yeah, it comes together with wheat and and corn. from all over the world very versatile ingredient you can do whatever you want with it 
can bake it, fry it, boil it, steam it. So a lot of possibilities to, impro to improvise and create cool recipes. Mm, love this. Another healthy recipe, a surely really nice guilty pleasure snack. <clears throat> Thank you for watching this week's episode. I hope that you enjoy it, guys. Again, please comment down below and let me know what I have, what can I do better, what you're most interested in, what you're interested in again. Please like this video, share with your friends if you think they're gonna like it, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next week.